Hey guys, Max here, super excited to share the latest update to Blossom Pro, which has been highly requested, and that's the ability to filter your portfolio down by brokerage and filter it down by account type. Before I dive deeper into the update, I wanna give a huge shout out and thanks to the almost 2,000 folks who have subscribed to Blossom Pro. You're helping us keep the lights on, you're helping us continue to improve the app and grow the community, a huge thank you. And for those who are still on the fence, sign up for the free trial, I know you're gonna love it, and it really helps support the app. So let's dive in. So in the last update, which I didn't make a video about, we broke up the portfolio and the profile screen. The profile is now the place for your social profile. So this is what other people see when they look at your account. And the portfolio we've separated because we really wanna focus in and nail the portfolio management experience on Blossom. So we've added, as you know, all of the pro widgets, the dividend tracking, the sector breakdowns, and we'll continue to add more and more tools and functionality there. But we finally added the ability to filter down by different account types and brokerages. So you can see I can zoom in what is in my Wellsimple and even zoom in what is in my Wellsimple TFSA. You can see all of my uh, pie chart and my holdings change and filter down to what is in those accounts. One thing to note is it's still early in this feature. All of the portfolio and dividend uh, widgets uh, are not affected by the filter. So this performance widget, the sector breakdown, this is still the aggregate view of your whole portfolio. We will be adding um, functionality in the next week or so, so that that filtering uh, basically cascades down throughout the whole page. This feature is something where we've done a lot of testing on, but we really need your help um, and the members, all, all the amazing folks who are going to look in, and take advantage of this feature. Give us the feedback. If you see any issues, comment them on this video, comment them on my Blossom post. That'll help us fix and refine this and catch things that we weren't able to catch ourselves in the testing. And within a week, this is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be amazing. So one other thing is if you've added stocks manually, so I have a bunch of my um, holdings in my RRSP at CIBC, you're gonna get a widget at the top of uh, the page here, and it's not gonna show up today, it'll show up tomorrow on Friday, uh, once we release the update for Android, and you're gonna click on that, and that'll let you filter and tag all of your manually added holdings by account type. So I'm gonna go and tag all my CIBC as in my RRSP account. Another really cool feature, which is a small one, but we've added this action button here in the bottom right. So you don't have to go into the settings um, to edit or add new investments to your portfolio. That was previously kind of buried. We've made this more accessible through the action button. So that's the new change. And as you can see, this is part of a broader focus to really narrow in and improve the portfolio management experience on Blossom. And so really appreciate and look forward to all of your feedback, catching any issues and continuing to make this experience better and better and better. One other quick flag, which was in the last release, but I didn't get to talk about it in the video, is we have added in the feed uh, recommended accounts to follow. And what that does is it highlights accounts that have had a lot of great posts, a lot of engagement over the last week, not just the ambassadors, because I know there's so many of you amazing creators on Blossom who are putting great content out there, um, and we wanna make sure that you folks are highlighted. The next big thing we're working on, which is super exciting, is a personalization um, algorithm into the feed. So currently, the way that the feed works is it's largely chronological. The For You feed has you know, the series of filters um, based on the stocks you follow, the people you follow, the topics you follow, and we have this concept of hot posts, but that really just takes the hot posts and the top engaged posts of the last 24 hours. Let's say you didn't um, log in today, you might miss one of those posts, and if you come back to the app three days later, we wanna make sure that all of those great content isn't getting buried in the feed and that you're able to see um, the most helpful and most useful content rise to the top of your feed and the most tailored to you. So if you think of how Instagram works, how TikTok works, 
where it starts to essentially, it actually uses machine learning where it learns based on the content that you're most interested in. So let's say you're more of a dividend investor. Let's say um, you're more into oil and gas. Getting to start see that content that's most relevant to you, that is a big piece that we're adding and that'll make the app way better and be better for all of you amazing creators because once you make a post, currently it kind of gets buried and only has a lifespan really of 24 hours unless you make it into the top weekly or top monthly. Otherwise, otherwise it kind of gets buried. And we don't want that to happen because there's tons of great posts, tons of great content on Blossom that deserves to have longer longevity and see the light of day um, to many more users. So that is a really exciting piece that's coming. Um, that wraps it up for the update. Thank you all. Really excited to hear your feedback. Special thanks to all of our pro users and make sure you subscribe here to the YouTube channel if you want more updates like this one. Peace.